Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more CNSL 5. Right now, we are in the round of 16. It's Group B, and this is the final match. Up here in the top right, we have Yoon, a very strong up-and-coming Zerg Pro from Korea. And in the bottom right, we have someone that is really impressing so far. It's Fengji. Uh, he was able to take out Yoon in the first match of Group B, so here he is in the final one. Did get really kind of wiped by scan, but here we are in ZVZ, which it seems is a very good matchup for Fengji. Fengji, an older player, as I mentioned, uh, a Chinese player, so, uh, you know, anytime he's winning here, it is kind of considered an upset, and we'll see what he can do here against Yoon once again. I mean, the fact that he already was able to Take him down shows us that maybe he can do it again, but in a best of three, it is going to be a little bit harder. Now, of course, ZVZ, sometimes you can catch like good build orders and stuff, but it seems like just the the choices of Fengshi, he knows when he needs to attack. He knows with like the build orders uh, what his options are. And yeah, I'm looking forward to to seeing if we can get Fengshi into the round of eight. That would be like pretty insane, to be honest. I don't think anyone's ever made it that far from uh, the non-Koreans. <clears throat> so, anyways, we're going to go ahead and follow this coffee bean butted overlord. Wait for something to happen. And it looks like we have a pool coming up. Uh, looks like a 12 pool here uh, from Yoon. Looks like a very similar down here from Fengji. So, pool first, but a very economical pool first. Not like a rushing pool first. This is a very safe opener. And you generally do get gas right away with this as well. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see just like one base layer, but we'll see if anyone wants to go ahead and make that secondary hatchery. Now, while we do wait uh, for this to uh, get going, I want to say uh, thank you everyone for subscribing to the channel. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of a big deal. We have hit 20,000 subscribers on Artosis Cast. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed yet, which is like a higher percentage than you would imagine that watch the video. It's like near 50% uh, generally when I check. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Like, I release a cast every single day. Uh, and a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed on the Patreon as well. It's patreon.com forward slash artosis. There's a link in the description as well if you'd like to support. But thank you much, everybody. It really... It's awesome to see. Uh, I want Brood War to just live on forever. And the way this channel is going, I I think that it can. <laughs> I want to be casting these games literally always. It's just so much fun to, to watch, to study, to cast, to enjoy the top players in the world going at it. So, back to the game. You can see their builds are, like, literally exactly the same. They're both going hatchery at the same time. They're both going layer at the same time. They're both going speed at the same time. So this is as mirrored as it can get. You have this Overlord that's kind of watching. This Overlord that's kind of watching. So those are the same areas. Uh, Feng Shi's Overlord going through the center. That's going to alert him to Ling's. Whereas this Overlord is kind of going more to the side. Not huge differences, but you can catch Ling's going in certain directions like that. And I think they're both just going to make non-stop links from here. As you can see, a lot of Zerglings being created. And the thing is, if you if you undermake and you try to get extra drones, you just die. <laughs> so, not a good choice. Fengji going to be the first to move out here. His Ling's going single file up the map. Couple drones popping out here for Yoon. Yoon is up two drones. So, these are basically those two drones. Those could have been four Ling's. So he might end up dying because of this. We'll see. A lot more on the way. The drone's doing a great job with their body blocking and their damage output. But it doesn't look like it's going to be enough right now. Fengji breaks through the front. The two drones have to run away. Now, he, really, Yoon has to save this hatchery when you think about it. Like, you can't let this die. You're doing the same build order as your opponent. You don't have anything going for you if, it lo if you lose it. He brings additional drones, so he's losing a lot of mining. He did lose a single drone there as well. He keeps the hatch alive for now. Looks like the drones are going to turn around. We have a spire starting up over here. No spire yet on Yoon's side. Yoon may have to go for a pure Zergling all-in from here. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it seems like... Well, he has the gas for a spire, but... He's already taken a bit of damage. Uh, Fengji is down by one drone at the moment. So that is a small economic advantage for Yoon, even though he did lose some mining time. The one thing I'm nervous about, yeah, is the speed of the Spire. It just started now. So 
with how much longer uh, this started. Like, mm, can you get a Muta there? I think you probably can, but it might not end up making the biggest difference. Now, Fengji pulling back into a defensive stance with all of these Zerglings. Yoon has moved up. He's sitting somewhere. There is no Overlord, right? So, like, the Overlord sees his Lings leave, and that's basically all of his information. So that's why Fengji has pulled back his couple of groups of Zerglings. Now, some of his Lings go back. He might be fearing a counterattack. You don't have full vision of everything. Right now, Yoon just kind of running around with these Lings, trying to decide what it is that he's going to do. And, okay, Fengji starts to come out. Okay, so right now, they're at the same supply, and Yoon is up one drone, which means there's a two Zergling advantage right now. Uh, but actually, some of these additional lings are being made. So Yoon will have more lings by the time these lings get up to his base. So he is stalling out just slightly. There are two mutas on the way for Fengji, which can, of course, make a gigantic difference. Now, here come the lings. Fengji wants this fight. Is he going to be able to actually break through? The drones come out. That is a beautiful drone pull right there. A good drill, some good damage, some good body blocking as well. More lings coming out for Yoon, but Fengji with a tiny advantage there does end up getting a single drone that brings him equal in drones, but much higher supply here for Fengji, who does have those mutalisks that are on the way. Where are they? Here they are. Flying up the map right now. Uh, Scourge being made primarily by Yoon. So his Scourge are actually going to have to do a little bit of work here if the mutas make a beeline. This is kind of the... Uh, the tense moment of the game because Yoon needs to like make a defense here and start building his own mutalist count because as these mutas grow like those uh, the scourge are not going to be able to do nearly as good of a job obviously he can kill off lings as well we already have that big supply uh disparity going on don't forget scourge it's uh half a supply a piece and then mutas are two supply okay so that's part of what you're seeing as far as the six supply advantage some mutas now being made by Yoon. Ling's going for a counterattack, but Fengji has Ling's here as well. Are the mutas just going to go for it? Not entirely sure right now. Seems like the Ling's mostly trade there in the center. A couple more Ling's coming down for Yoon, so maybe some attack potential. Now the Scourge chasing down Yoon's mutas. Dude, I think Fengji's going to take this. It looks pretty obvious, right? Now his Muta's going after the drones. He kills three drones already. Now the Scourge are getting on top of his Muta's. This is a big, big deal right now. Yoon with some excellent micro back here, but some of them might end up hitting. One definitely has hit. Well, he saves the Muta's at least. He saves the Muta's, but two of them are at 10 health each. So those are going to fall very quickly in a Muta versus Muta battle. The Scourge... Oh, he does get a single catch and then turns around with his Scourge. So decides to save those for now. More Lings coming here for Fengji. Still has that big advantage supply-wise. Lings going to be pushed back by the Mutas. It's five Mutas right now, as well as a few Scourge. Oh, another drone pick as well. Fengji retains that economical advantage. As that second gas starting up as well, a great thing to do with it. Like, if you have that extra gas, yeah, the drone count is very, very low, but you can just start pumping out Scourge quite a bit, and your opponent's mutas literally won't be able to attack you because they're going to have to just micro against Scourge, and then you kind of dive either on the mutas with moving shot with your mutas, where they can't really fight back because you have so many Scourge following them, or you go after the drones. Both can absolutely end up working. You can see what desperate straits Yoon is in right now. He's going for a creep colony in his main base. So this is going to turn into a sunken to protect his economy, which is four drones on minerals and three on gas. Oh, man, it's really, really weak economy. Uh, but he does need it because his mutas have to go do something. Like, if you're going to end up uh, winning, if you're going to end up coming back here as Yoon, you must go make something happen. Like, you have to outmaneuver or something, right? Like, fly in, kill a bunch of drones, and get out. We'll see if he's able to do so. Okay, so he finds this Overlord. This Overlord actually did such a good job because that was the only vision on this side of the map. And the fact that he sees that incoming means that the Mutas can't fly in for that crazy attack onto, uh, onto the drones in the main base. Now, Yoon is fighting reasonably well. Let's take a look at the Muta count. Seven there, six here, but these Mutas are much more damaged for Yoon. All right, Fengji coming down to intercept. This is probably the moment where the game should get decided. Like, I mean, as soon as you're within range of a moving shot, that's going to end it. 
And the, actually a lot of Scourge hits for Yoon. We got to give it to him there. He did fantastically, but still better, healthier Mute is here for Fengji. And that means that Yoon is dead. Yeah, he stops Micron at this point. Three against two. So he's going to end up losing both those. He's not going to kill another one of Fengji's. So that's a huge advantage. More Scourge coming down. Seems like he wants to give it one more try here. Just Scourge and Lings for the most part. Like, if his Lings could somehow take out this base and the Scourge could hit the Mutas, okay. But the odds of that, very, very low at this level. You know, if you go to a lower level, yeah, that might actually happen. But the Micro of these guys is a bit too strong, I would say. Uh, the Lings actually jump in onto the main Mineral Line and don't do that great of a job. All right, he's popping some Overlords now. That's not really going to help. We're at 27 of 58. That might have been a mistake, in fact. This is... It's like I'm watching uh, Yoon try to turn water into wine right now. <laughs> it's not... He's really trying to perform a magic trick. And it's just not working. It's like Scourge coming in from very random rank. Hey, you know what? He did get three Scourge hits, but GG... Fengji wins game number one.